All right, I got a little follow up here. Uh, so took all the parts out, and big surprise, there's basically everything that we saw in the car came out. Not much was hiding. Um, what is remarkably absent is, I'll come over here, the lower intake manifold with the injectors and a lot of goodies here. Um, you know what? I'm going to open... Just give me a minute. I'm going to open the hood on that one, and we'll go through it together. But, yeah, so we've got three alternators. Um, these don't go to this. These don't go to this. Just, actually, these don't go to this either. None of this stuff goes with it. Um, this is the door trim, which is nice. A huge accessory fan, which I don't know what that goes to, and the floor piece. But... More bits and pieces. Uh, injector pack, which of course is different from the uh, 95 engine. And the upper half of the intake manifold, the intermediate half, is the intermediate part of the intake manifold. Uh, this bracket, which is nice. This is the water neck to this one, I'm pretty sure. Both valve covers, that's good. <laughs> Two starters. Neither of which go to this, again, because this one does have it installed. It's a Bosch one. That's nice. That one looks... It's also a Bosch. Um, looks very period. And exhaust manifold, of course. Serpentine belt, which, of course, I'm just going to get replaced anyways. But give me a second. I'll pop into that one, and I'll talk through the stuff just at a glance that I know is missing. Okay. A wiser man than I obviously would have just started with both hoods open. But... That was in the past, going with the future. So, this is going to be 80% um, the same, I'd say. Um, top mounted alternator. So that big aluminum bracket here, I think is pretty similar here. What's also missing is the tensioner. Ooh, too close. Um, what's also missing is the tensioner down here. The AC compressor is there with the pulley, fortunately. Plenty of alternators to choose from. Um, Power steering pump with pulley, that is still included. Water pump uh, with pulley and fan is included. The guy didn't know how to take the, not the previous guy, the one owner prior didn't, he probably couldn't get the fan clutch off, and so he just took the whole damn thing, which is annoying. Um, but you got top third, middle third, and this entire thing that sits underneath these two parts, which houses, of course, your injectors. This whole thing is missing. So, that's pretty serious. Um, as you can see, it you know, like, if you're looking at an engine, basically the a third of the top is completely missing. So if we go over here, I'll sort of backtrack it. Um, water pump, we have... Uh, that's obviously there. AC fan, or yeah, I'm sorry, AC compressor with pulley, power steering pump with pulley. Um, fun fact, so this actually has um, ignition coil. This, um, if you can see, it has the, the boss for it, but there's no distributor, which you could see on the other engine, obviously. Um, so the ignition is through, I can go back and show you, but what's missing here is the air comes in through the top, goes into these ports here, exhaust ports are on the other side. Um, I'm looking at it, isn't that nice and nice and cruddy? Um, not that this whole thing isn't cruddy, but yeah, so there's <laughs> pretty, pretty significant king part that's missing. That's bad enough. I, um, previous, the most recent, the guy I bought it from, I'll just say that, the guy I bought it from versus previous owner, the guy I bought it from, was really good. He actually went up and he grabbed some extra parts for me that were missing, um, which was really nice of him to do. So I've, I've got one more trip to pick up a couple more parts or hopefully we can meet halfway or something, but um, that's huge. And that's not the kind of thing that you can buy a populated intake manifold and have it shipped. So that's a bummer, but we're going to do something with it. So yeah, just another quick update there. Uh, keep digging. Okay, 
in a move that will surprise absolutely no one, um, took further inventory, and there is so much missing. There is no hardware. Uh, lower intake manifold, completely missing. Rocker arms, completely missing. Um, the push rods are here, but... Um, <laughs> This, I'm talking to the guy I brought it from, not the previous owner, the guy I bought it from. Um, he's super apologetic, which again, I bought the shell for, you know, I'm happy with what I paid for, paid for the shell. Um, I wanted to, you know, I want to preserve the original Rover V8, but we've got, I mean, this is like two sets of head bolts to, I think, a different vehicle. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure these are head bolts, but... These look like, these are the actual head bolts that it came with it, and there are like two to four removed, the rest of them are still in. Um, blessing in disguise, maybe I can tear the engine down and have a bunch of parts, and then just junk it. Uh, maybe you guys are going to get an LS swap out of me. I never was interested in doing that, but this is just... That is not the top half of an engine. Um, so, come back in here. Interior stuff. I may, I may just kind of put the interior together. <sighs> Bro, there's just there's there's pretty much no hardware either. We'll see what the next couple days bring with the guy I bought it from. See if anything else turns up, but. I may pull the heads and get them checked out, and then just keep them as spares. Start selling, you know, start selling parts out of it. Tear it, tear it. I've never actually torn down an engine. Maybe it's just I can tear it down for scrap, and then we'll have a shell, and we can just move on with it. Or maybe I'm just being a pessimist, and in a couple weeks I'll have all the parts for it and more if I go raid that guy's stash. But not uh not the best outcome, at least initial outcome, but once again, I mean, there's, when we tore this down, it took up, you know, one 12 by 4 workbench piled a foot high. I mean, that was all the engine parts for this. And, um, there's a lot of stuff that is not here, understatement of the, of the day. But, what does your future hold, little friend? Who can say... But whatever happens, you'll hear it here. Thanks, guys.